When it comes to tall mega structures, the reality is that we are far from achieving some of the lofty aspirations, but technological developments over the last few decades alone have proved that anything is quite possible. As the world's population continues to grow, an increasing proportion of people are residing in metropolitan regions, which has resulted in the spatial concentration of our previously distributed population. The need for greater space in these areas makes it necessary to create bigger buildings to accommodate far more people than these urban areas were intended to hold. Ever since the Burj Khalifa became the world's tallest building in the world in 2010, Dubai has held the title of the world's tallest skyscraper so far. Despite many announcements about projects worldwide set to dethrone the Burj Khalifa, such as the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, the Azerbaijan Tower, or the Creek Tower, no other skyscraper has been fully completed yet to break Dubai's record. Meanwhile, Japan has been in the forefront of envisioning some of the tallest buildings in the world. In today's video, we explore Japan's ambitions to construct unbelievable megastructures in the future, some of which could even reach space. According to a World Health Organization report, in 2014, cities held 54% of the world's population, up from 34% in 1960, and they are still expanding. Given this increased trend and the fact that sea levels are rising due to global warming, some of the world's largest cities may become vulnerable to natural disasters like severe flooding. Officials in Japan agreed to start a project named Next Tokyo, in which architects would design a futuristic megacity with resilient infrastructure that could withstand climate change by the year 2045. Within this plan is Japan's mile-high skyscraper, known as the Sky Mile Tower, a 1,700 meters tall tower twice the size of the Dubai's Burj Khalifa. To put it into perspective otherwise, Sky Mile Tower would reach nearly half the height of Mount Fuji. Its network of rising residences would house about 55,000 people. It would also offer amenities such as shopping centers, restaurants, hotels, gyms, libraries, and health clinics. A series of wind tests revealed that the aerodynamics of the hexagonal shape generated the highest wind-resistant results, leading to the development of the building's hexagonal shape. Vertical slots in the building that act as open-air sky decks along its length will enable the wind to pass through. It will be made up of numerous sets of three connected construction legs and is shaped to fit within the hexagonal space. Every 320 meters, a set of building legs is positioned so that they will overlap one another in a sequential manner, forming sky lobbies at the point of overlap. There will be 60 to 90 floors in each set of construction legs. Pumping and distributing water to people a mile in the sky was one of the main concerns the architects had. To solve this problem, they created a framework that could collect, treat, and store water at different levels of the tower while depending on gravity for a natural distribution. This would eliminate the expensive and time-consuming need to pump water up from the ground to the different levels. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Share your thoughts on these mega projects in the comments below. The Sky Mile Tower and the surrounding metropolis will be built on reclaimed ground in Tokyo Bay, and their designs will prioritize sustainability, efficiency, durability, and safety. Tokyo Bay is 1,300 square kilometers big and over 250 square kilometers of land has been reclaimed already for this construction. Below the skyscraper, there will be hexagonal shaped structures that range in width from 500 to 5,000 feet. These structures are designed to reduce the effects of powerful waves from the bay, while also facilitating easy access for ships entering and exiting the busy harbor. Additionally, certain structures would be pre-filled with water, enabling access to islands that serve as public harbors for beaches and urban farming areas. Salt water from the bay would be retained to cultivate algae, a sustainable and healthy fuel source. 
The plan for the mega project will be transit oriented with tunnels, regional lines, and a new vacuum tube high speed transportation system based on the technology currently being developed by Elon Musk, called the Hyperloop. Once complete in 2045, the SkyMile Tower in Tokyo, Japan will stand as the tallest building in the world, surpassing the 828-meter-tall Burj Khalifa as well as the ongoing 1,000-meter-tall Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Japan's ambitions to conquer the realm of sky-high buildings does not end here. No matter how unrealistic it may be, Japan continues to envision the construction of the tallest of buildings on planet Earth. In the late 1990s, Japan's Taisei Corporation proposed a mega-tall futuristic skyscraper called the X-Seat 4000, designed to tower 4,000 meters over the Tokyo skyline. It can house up to 1 million people and it blends ultra-modern living with cutting-edge transportation and interaction with nature. It is a building that exemplifies both the advancement of humanity and the engineering community's futuristic vision. In a sense, X-Seat 4000 is a self-contained city inside a skyscraper. A 4-kilometer high, eco-utopian structure with approximately 800 levels that is open-framed and aesthetically similar to Mount Fuji. Residents don't need to leave the building since it is urban, commercial, and residential areas, just like a city. Because the building is so tall, it requires particular management of the variations in air pressure to prevent altitude sickness. The majority of the required electricity would be supplied by renewable energy generators dispersed throughout the building. The concave cone stabilizes the building at height, and the base, which has a diameter of 6 kilometers, supports the heavy weight. The tower's open design allows some air to circulate around its perimeter which reduces pressure on the building's foundation and lower levels and creates a pathway for natural light. X-Seed 4000 is the largest skyscraper that has ever been completely designed, however it is unlikely that it will ever be constructed. Just when you think that there couldn't be another building taller than the X-Seed, Japan proposed a structure that could reach the heavens. Inspired by the Biblical Tower of Babel, the Tokyo Tower of Babel is one of the largest theoretical buildings ever designed. With up to 30 million people residing, this Tower of Babel would be 10 kilometers tall and serve primarily as a means of population support. It would likely take around 100 years to build, cost trillions of dollars, and be primarily made of steel. If built, it would be taller than Mount Everest, Given its mega-size and complexities, the Tokyo Tower of Babel will remain a vision for the foreseeable future. What are your thoughts on Japan's plan to construct the tallest building in the world? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.